Hello guys, today's video is going to be ARFM um, setup number 7 and for the previous video we did the front bumper, the rear bumper and the body setup okay um, so today's video is going to be the bottom of the ARFM okay uh, you will notice I removed uh, part of my uh, battery compartment it looks like this right now and I highly recommend to cut like this because you need a little bit of flexibility on the chassis and it's giving better uh, less rebound okay but um, just cutting the top of battery compartment is not uh, enough so you have to cut the bottom of chassis as well the battery cover which is right here okay so I already um, put a mass tape this is the part we're gonna uh, remove so we're gonna break the um, battery cover to be two parts okay um, one gonna be the top part right here it's gonna be your support and the bottom gonna be your uh, battery cover first we're gonna use Dremel to cut the battery cover to be uh, two halves okay okay uh, next we're gonna remove uh, all this part right here up to right here you see this latch right here so you're gonna stop right here okay 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 right here we finish power one okay so remove all the scrap which is right here you can see there's a lot of scrap right here okay so remove the scraps okay moving to the next we're gonna go ahead uh, cut this part right here so you're gonna uh, remove a little bit right here so there's another latch for the for the um, uh, the model side right here so you're gonna you're gonna stop about right here so you're gonna complete remove this part and also you have to remove a little bit right here this is the um, the part which is close to the model okay okay um, it's gonna be looks like this okay uh, again remove all the scraps okay so it's gonna be looks like this so make sure do not cross this little line right here so you will notice um, there's a, a battery um, some kind of shape for the for holding the battery and make sure do not remove that okay like this right here there's another pieces right here so make sure do not cross this line because this is gonna hold your battery in the right position and also right here you will notice there's a battery um, the holder uh, whatever the, the kind of shape for that so right here this part also for holding the battery so do not uh, remove that because if you cut too much you probably gonna damage this part right here because this keep your battery on the right position Okay, next we're gonna put this one um, okay, right now we're gonna go ahead um, glue these pieces on the back of the uh, the battery compartment so you're gonna apply uh, a little bit of glue right here on the latch right here okay And you're gonna apply on the other side too, okay? Just a little bit to hold these pieces on the right position, okay? And I'll move to next, we're gonna talk about the um, the terminal cover, which is the switch part right here. So as you can see, uh, have a little huge uh, little bar right here. This piece is right here. So when you try to set up um, this one on top of that. If you have an underguard or either uh, rear stay on that, it kind of block your way. So the best recommendation it is remove this pieces right here. Okay, so like this for saving time, I'll just move uh, remove one of them like this. Okay, so this pieces you can see I remove part of it. How much you can remove, and yeah, it's really up to you. Um, you can remove all the way up to here. Uh, let me give you a compare. You can see this is how many I remove. And on this chassis right here, I remove all the way to the uh, the wrong shape right here. 
So it's really up to you. Uh, you want to make it a bit lighter and nicer, uh, you can move all the way to here. So as you can see here is a little bit wrong shape right here. So you can move that and spending your time just cut like that and using files to slowly adjust the, the shape. Okay. Okay, move to the next. We're gonna do a little bit modification on the on the terminal and the switch. Okay, because remember this is ARFM. So when we do ARFM, the battery uh, polarity is gonna be uh, reverse. Okay. So basically, what are we gonna do? We need to do the modification. Make sure the battery can fit on the other direction. So first, we're gonna remove this barrel. So this is the divider. Uh, divide the battery to the left and right. So you have to remove these pieces. Uh, any kind of tool, uh, even knife is okay. So you can use knife as well to remove this. So make it completely flat. Like this, okay. Let me give you a bad angle so you can see. Okay. And the next, you're gonna see this is uh, negative, this is positive. The difference between negative and the positive, and then uh, you know the uh, negative has a flat surface, and uh, and the uh, positive have a little bit um, seeing stick out. Okay, so you can see here's negative sign, so, but when it's on ARFM, this negative become a positive. So you're gonna do a little bit of modification right here. You're gonna make a little bit notch right here, so in order to the battery can fit like this. Okay. So what I, what I gonna do it is I gonna uh, cut this one open a little bit you by using Dremel, okay? So okay, can be looks like this, and you will try to put it back and make sure it fits, okay? So let's try. Well, let's need to make it slightly a little bit bigger. Okay, so this time I'm gonna just gonna use knife and uh, to cut this part a little bit open right here. Just make sure, be careful, don't cut yourself. Okay, it's okay, it fits as you can see. And I'll move to next, we're gonna try if we try to insert this back right here, it fits. Okay, it fits as well. Okay. And then next, we're gonna modify the terminal because remember our battery uh, polarity is gonna be changed, so the terminal the shape have to be changed too because it's gonna be uh, positive become negative, negative become become positive. So um, you know the both both polarity have different shape. So look at terminal. Okay, you will notice the terminal right here is stick out. So we have to make it flat because right here we're gonna insert the uh, positive into it. So when you insert the positive, because this part right here, it is stick out. So you have to make this part flat. So we're going to use a plier to flat the terminal like this, okay? Okay, so it makes it become like this, okay? Make sure uh, fix a little bit because you will notice it's kind of bent, but uh, Make sure you fix a little bit like this, okay? Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back, okay? And the next, we're gonna try um, to insert the battery to the battery compartment, make sure it fits, and okay. As you can see, it fits, okay? Then, then we're gonna do the modification of switch. You just have to make sure the switch, um, the contact, uh, can be uh, uh, kind of good. Okay, so what I will do it is I will use a plier to flat this part right here first, and give a little bit cramp right here, so it can go back a little bit. So it can be looks like this. Let me give you a better angle so you can see. It can be looks like this. So okay, uh, this is how it looks like right now. Um, keep this open. So uh, double check, make sure it's okay. Okay. So if necessary, you can bend this part a little bit more to this side. Okay. Uh, make sure you remove this little barrel right here because after you bend the switch and 
the switch uh, this part right here gonna become very narrow so this part gonna uh, so this barrel right here gonna block the switch which is make you not be able to um, cover the switch okay so um, just gonna go ahead and use a plastic cutter to remove this part right here okay and next we're gonna go ahead and test if the switch is working okay we're gonna install the battery and make sure it's positive become your negative negative become your positive so make sure it's working okay try a couple times okay so it's working so next gonna put a cover back on and make sure everything is right so double testing so it's working and I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the battery make sure it's around the right position it's kind of loose but it's it's stay on the right position okay so you can see okay so next we're gonna do a little bit of modification to reinforce the battery okay um what are we gonna do we're gonna get a piece of sponge uh, this is one millimeter sponge pink one and I'm gonna go ahead and cut um, a small pieces about one and a half centimeter okay so we're gonna place uh, the sponge on the left and the right on the battery cover so make sure the barrel you have to be uh, not over the edges should be uh, lines up with the edges of the barrel right here so next just gonna go ahead and put it back okay okay so okay after you put a sponge you will notice the battery stay really on the right position okay and the next um, you have to do another modification you're gonna see this little bit gap right here um, on the positive side of the battery because remember we changed the uh, polarity of the battery so it didn't really perfect so we have to fill up the gap right here so we're gonna use a 1.5 millimeter um, sponge to insert right here to fill up the gap okay okay it's gonna be looks like this gonna try insert the battery okay you will notice no longer move okay make sure do not put three millimeter because it's gonna be um, it's gonna it's gonna cause the chassis twist okay you don't really want a chassis twist because it's gonna cause three wheel okay I'm gonna try put everything back and make sure so you will notice the battery no longer move it's really firm okay you cannot even turn and no longer to waggle okay and make sure to switch on everything works okay okay so okay uh, here's today's video and uh, we did a modification on the battery compartment and the terminal and uh, this is um, um, the uh, bottom part of the modification you have to do on the FMAR and uh, for next video we're gonna do the transmission okay um, so anyway uh, if you have any question just go ahead and leave a comment and um, I'm gonna answer as well as possible okay thank you for watching